Welcome to Exphonic. It was late 19th century when inventors and aviators began experimenting with rotorcraft, such as helicopters and gyroplanes. And after many prototype tests, the first practical application of VTOL technology, the Harrier jump jet aircraft, introduced to the world in 1960 and revolutionized the military aviation by enabling short takeoff and vertical landing operations. Since then, VTOL technology has used in many aircrafts, including V22 Osprey, the F35B Lightning II, and the Bell V247 Vigilant, among many others. These aircraft have demonstrated the benefits of VTOL, such as increased mobility, flexibility, and safety compared to conventional fixed wing or rotary wing aircraft. Recently, eVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, has emerged as a promising new category of VTOL technology that leverages electric propulsion and advanced materials such as carbon fiber to enable quiet, efficient, and environmentally friendly flights. A growing number of companies worldwide are developing eVTOL aircraft, ranging from startups to established aerospace firms. That's enough about VTOL. Now let's talk about the top 10 best personal eVTOL aircraft. First on the list is Joby Aviation. Joby Aviation is a California-based company that has been developing eVTOL aircraft for over a decade, since 2009. Beginning in 2012, Joby was selected to collaborate with NASA on several groundbreaking electric flight projects, including the X57 and the LipTech. The latest model, the Joby S4, is a five-seat electric aircraft that can fly up to 150 miles on a single charge. It features 12 tilt rotors that enable VTOL to have a quiet and efficient flight. Joby Aviation has also partnered with Toyota and Uber to build an eVTOL air taxi network in the near future. Second on the list is Archer Aviation. Archer Aviation is a startup that has raised over $1 billion to develop an eVTOL aircraft for urban air mobility. Their flagship model, the Archer Maker, is a four-seat aircraft that can fly up to 60 miles at a top speed of 150 miles per hour. It uses 12 rotors and a fixed wing design for efficient lift and speed. Archer Aviation plans to launch its air taxi service in Los Angeles and Miami by 2024. On the third we have Lilium. Lilium is a German company that has developed a unique eVTOL aircraft with 36 ducted fans that enables vertical lift and forward thrust. The Lilium jet can carry up to 7 passengers and fly up to 186 miles on a single charge. It is designed for short and medium haul trips between cities and has already secured partnership with several airlines and airports. Fourth on the list is Vertical Aerospace. Vertical Aerospace is a British company that has designed an eVTOL aircraft with four rotor and a slick carbon fiber body. The VAX4 can transport up to four passengers and fly 100 miles at a top speed of 200 miles per hour. It has already completed several successful test flights and aims to launch commercial operations in 2024. On the fifth, we have eHang. Ehang is a Chinese company that has developed an autonomous eVTOL aircraft called the Ehang 216. It can carry up to two passengers and fly up to 22 miles at a top speed of 81 miles per hour. It uses eight propellers and can operate without a pilot or crew. Ehang has already launched its air taxi service in several cities in China and is expanding globally. Sixth, we have Beta Technologies. Alia by Beta Technologies is a six-person eVTOL aircraft that features eight electric motors and rotors with a range of up to 250 miles on a single charge. The Alia is designed for commercial and cargo transportation applications. Beta Technologies is based on Vermont and has received significant funding from investors like Amazon's climate pledge funds. Seven on the list is Volocopter. Volocity is a four-person eVTOL aircraft being developed by German startup Volocopter. The Volocity has 18 rotors and is designed for urban air mobility applications such as air taxis and transportation hub. Volocopter has already conducted successful test flights of the Volocity in Singapore and Dubai and has partnership with companies like Daimler and Gili. Another exciting eVTOL aircraft is the SD-03 from Japanese startup SkyDrive. The SD-03 is a two-person vehicle that features four electric motors and rotors and is designed for personal transportation and air taxi services. SkyDrive has already conducted test flights of the SD-03 in Japan and aims to commercialize the technology by 2025. Next, we have Mobi-1 from Michigan-based startup Airspace Experience Technologies. It's a four-person eVTOL aircraft that has six rotors mounted on tilt wing, one rotor on the empennage of the VTOL, and a range of up to 70 miles on a single charge. The Mobi-1 can be used for both passenger and cargo transportation. 
Airspace Experience Technologies has received funding from investors like Shin Meiwa Industries and has partnership with companies like Spirit Aero Systems. Last but not the least, we have the Sky from Massachusetts-based startup Alkais Technology. The Sky is a five-person e-VTOL aircraft that uses hydrogen fuel cell technology for extended range and zero emissions. With six electric motors and rotors, the Sky is designed for air taxi and emergency service applications. Alkais Technology has partnership with companies like Honeywell and has received funding from investors like Toyota and Airspace Experience Technologies. On bonus, we have Jetson One. Jetson One is a US company that has created personal EVTOL aircraft that does not require a pilot's license to operate. It can transport one passenger and fly up to 45 miles at a top speed of 63 miles per hour. It uses from electric motors and can take off and land vertically from small spaces such as rooftop or parking lots. Jetson One is already booked for 2022 and 2023 and is available for booking for 2024. So which of these e-VTOL aircraft is best for personal transportation? Well, it depends on your needs, preferences and budget. Each aircraft has its strengths and weaknesses, and they all face similar challenges in terms of safety, regulation and infrastructure. However, they also represent a promising new era of urban mobility that could transform the way we travel, work and live. Is VTOL the future? Only time will tell. But we are excited to be a part of this journey. Thank you for watching and please share your thoughts and feedback in the comments below.